Hi, Brother Roy here, Old School Bible Baptist. Hey, have you ever noticed that the only Bible that says Holy Ghost is your King James Bible? Have you ever noticed, even in the New King James, that they've all gone in and changed the word Holy Ghost to Holy Spirit? What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Here's what I think about it. In the New Testament, the King James Bible calls the Holy Spirit the Holy Ghost. All of the new Bible translations change Holy Ghost to Holy Spirit, like they are correcting something wrong with the King James Bible. Even the New King James, as I just said, does it. Why is that wrong? Let's first look at the word ghost. Webster says, one, the seed of life, soul, Two, a disembodied spirit, a disembodied soul, especially the soul of a dead person believed to be an inhabitant of the unseen world or to appear in bodily form to living people. The word ghost is used 11 times in the Old Testament. In every case, it is used of the soul leaving the body. Our souls are real. Etern are real eternal selves. They contain our spirits and are clothed with our fleshly bodies. When man was created in Genesis 2, 7, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. That soul looks like you. Saul recognized Samuel's soul. The rich man recognized Lazarus' soul. The souls in heaven wear robes, etc. Webster's Dictionary got that one right. The soul has the appearance of the bodily form. Where did that bodily form come from? When God created the universe, time, space, and matter, He took on a bodily form in order to interact with His creation. We see Him several times in the Old Testament. The angel of the Lord. He came first. The angels and man are created in his image, not just morally, but in shape and form as well. When Jehovah God says, My right hand hath spanned the heavens, Isaiah 48, 13, that is literal. You can picture the Lord Jesus Christ in his pre-incarnate form, standing in the center of an empty universe and waving his hand as he speaks angels and galaxies into existence. The Father, by the Son, through the Spirit. The Godhead acting in unity in creation. That revelation of our triune God was veiled in the Old Testament. It was a mystery revealed by Christ in the Gospels. The Israelites had a relationship with the one God who dwelt between the cherubim in the tabernacle. The pattern and picture of him in heaven. But he left heaven. And he came and tabernacled with us. He took our bodily form. The first place that the term Holy Ghost shows up is when he comes to impart God in a bodily form into the womb of the virgin. Now the revelation of the Godhead is given because the Son is manifested and the Holy Spirit is operating in his new function inside of us. When Christ finishes his work of redemption, he sends the Holy Ghost to dwell in the new tabernacle. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, 1 Corinthians 6, 19. He has manifested His image, His image inside of our bodies, the spirit of a man who rose from the dead, and sits enthroned in heaven, he dwells in our bodies in his New Testament function and therefore gets a new title that is descriptive of that function. The, in, the original image is restored in us. That is doctrinal, dispensational truth about the person and the work of Christ that is not in any new Bible or any Greek manuscript Anytime you change one word of the King James Bible, you lose light, truth, 
and revelation. God said, Holy Ghost, in your Bible, for a reason, and he meant what he said. God bless you. I love you. We'll see you next time.